This week on the Theatre Review Show, we're checking out Dust Song at the ADC, a student-written show which is part drama and part opera. We spoke to some audience members beforehand about their expectations for this unusual show. I have no idea what it's going to be like. My guess is it is going to be quite sombre. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit dissonant. I spoke to some of the orchestra and they all think it's great. Um, and the singers are amazing. Um, so I think it's going to be brilliant. I've never been to an opera. And the mix of just, you know, normal prosaic play with uh, with opera elements sounded really interesting. The problem is that I actually didn't come and see Dust Song. I thought I was going to go to a different show, but these were the tickets that were that I got apparently. So I'm going to see Dust Song instead. Do you know anything about Dust Song? Nothing at all. Last summer, the composer Joe came to me, um, and we started talking a little bit about why people turn to alternative modes of expressing themselves and things like musicals, opera, like why they use poetry. And we thought about picking a topic. Um, that would allow us to like, show the real similarities between the way the music is used to express emotion and the way that uh, language other than ordinary prose, so poetry and lyricism, um, can achieve the same thing. You see a lot of really good student writing at Cambridge, um, but I think it's a shame sometimes that people don't collaborate as much as they could, because it's all very well sitting in a room that was done before, like slaving away at something, but when you're surrounded by so many talented people, it seems a shame not to kind of get together and do something different. Um, so working with Joe, who's been doing the music, uh, it's been brilliant because we've been able to like share quite a lot of our knowledge. You were in bed! I put you there myself! What is that? I don't know what's wrong with you, Abby, but you're confused. I had voices arguing. I thought they had amazing voices, I just want to start off with that. They had really good voices. I'm not sure if I got everything. But I'm going to have a long think about it, and uh, I'm sure I'll come to a conclusion. I thought as, as like a play, it was um, it was a really powerful play, but I'm not sure that the opera added a huge amount to that. I wouldn't say I was moved because I wasn't precisely sure what was going on, because my ears aren't really used to kind of operatic singing stars, so I guess that um, quite a lot of it got lost on me. I thought the concept of layering time frames in the way that they did was very well thought through. I think I got it, just about. Um, <laughs> which is more than I could say for like normal operas, on, for most operas on the first viewing. Um, so I, that sense it was pretty successful. It's quite a daring project. Yeah. I thought it was good. Sometimes the, like, the, the singing was quite difficult to follow, but, but yeah, it was really good. Oh.